where you've got two verticals and you've got a slanted shape and then you've got a horizontal. Okay, so how do they come together? Uh, let's see, uh, verticals, the two verticals here, here, then you've got the horizontal across here and you've got another line that slanted line kind of cuts across the horizontal. The slanted line. So the slanted line cuts across the horizontal. Yeah. So the horizontal overlaps with the slanted line? Is that what you say? Uh, yes, it looks like it does. Hmm. Have another look. Is the horizontal on the, where is it located with respect to the verticals? Is it on the bottom, on the top, in the middle, the horizontal line? Oh. Um. I'll find it. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm going to go for the bottom. Okay, so we have an horizontal on the bottom, and then on the top, we have a slit, then the, on, the, on the top, the, two, the slanted one comes up first, and the verticals are just kind of underneath the slanted line. Yes. Yes. So does this shape remind you of anything? <laughs> it's kind of a silly question. Is that us. supposed to be like a, a house or a... Yeah, it's, it's like supposed to be like a house. Yeah. The roof. The roof, yeah. yeah. Okay, I got it. Let's see if my brain put it together. <laughs> yes, yes. Good job. <laughs> you did it. Yeah. You did. You know, if you follow the profile even outside yeah, of the building, you might see a rooftop like, like that. Like that. Yeah, that's like the old style.